Freedom of speech is something that should neutrally protect all ideas, no matter how popular or unpopular, and all speakers, no matter how popular or unpopular. Justice Scalia was a great defender of free speech in many cases, a great defender of what has come to be the so-called bedrock principle of free speech jurisprudence, which we usually call content neutrality or viewpoint neutrality, that government may never suppress speech merely because the community, even a vast majority of the community, disagrees with or is repulsed by even the content or, or viewpoint that's conveyed by the speech. The notion of speaker neutrality is something that Justice Scalia uh, also stressed, in particular in some of the campaign finance cases where uh, he urged that corporations and unions should be entitled to the same freedom of speech as uh, individuals and other associations of individuals are entitled to. Unfortunately, these notions of neutrality are becoming increasingly embattled on the left end of the political spectrum where we have on the Supreme Court and in the public, including on many university campuses, it's liberals and progressives who are saying, well, maybe certain disfavored speakers should not be have the same unconstrained freedom. Maybe certain uh, disfavored ideas should not have the same protection. Freedom of speech is not going to survive unless it is supported across the political and ideological spectrum.